great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Cal State Northridge Matadors and the UCLA Bruins. Number 23 is a major contributor on this ball club. He does a number of things well for this team. It's very hard to get a jumper off on this kid, Brad, and simply forget about taking him to the hole off the dribble. The Bruins will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Bruins should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all, get the ball on the interior. See if he can get that big man into foul trouble. Lastly, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. They look to get it to the inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Coming inside. He shoots from the elbow. Sinks it. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to go inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. There's the fake. Now the turnaround jumper. Ten on the shot clock. Show me that one again. There's a double team waiting there. Trying to draw some contact. Oh, yes. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Watch your head, young fella. Rice handles the feed. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Take a look right here. the dribble as they set it up again. High post screen. So effective that screen. Cal State Northridge are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Goes up for two. Trying to feed inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Roll it back again, fellas. Hunt receives the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. Children. Receives the pass. He fires from long range. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. For two, perfectly executed. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He unloads a three. Way off target. Harm and foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Working it around the perimeter. Rice handles the pass. Here's the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, 
Barber is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. So working around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Good job defensively. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Stolen away. They get it out into transition. Tries for two. Cal State Northridge are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Hey, as nice as that dunk was, the mascot may have stolen his show in that play. He was the most excited person in the arena. Dumps it in. Kicks it out. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Got a man in high post. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Has it rejected defense he makes the block and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot Dick, how's he working him defensively i tell you he's trying to front right now you've got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help some on the dribble gives it up Looking for a good shot. Pump fakes on the outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nails it from downtown. Both teams looking to get things going here. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Great play to take that to the basket. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Gave it up. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. And the foul. He made a statement in that play, baby. I ain't backing down. Is his cry? The Bruins are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Makes the shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Yura draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the first shot. Gets the second shot. Goes up for two. In and out. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away.
Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Double team now, bad angle. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Thinks about the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job. A terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Guys, both the players and coaches seem really confused right now around the bench as, again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Moving it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Lobs it for two. Perfectly executed. Look at the pavilion. These fans are going nuts. They're going well here in Los Angeles, California. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, to get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Side. For the bucket, the Matadors have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Both teams looking to get things going here. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's a flash from the high post. Stolen away. They get out on the break. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. There's the trap. Up fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. He's got a high post flasher. He fouled him. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Here's a double team. On the outside. He goes for three. Sinks the shot. 
Is this home court advantage or what? He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. They work it back to the outside. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Goes up for two. Easy one. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? That's good. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Fast break opportunity. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. Check out this young man, Brad. He's taunting the opponent. the free throw line he sinks it they scored eight in a row on the dribble gives it up had an open guy in the post and went the other way he shoots from the top of the circle children buries the three-pointer Makes the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Jump hook from the low block. The Matadors have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the outside. High post flasher is open. Gave it up. Makes the shot. Gets it back out. It's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He attempts the three, knocks it down. Double team now, bad angle. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The skip pass is picked off. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes a jumper, and he'll kick it back outside. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from right of the circle. It's good. Entry pass in the paint. He buries it. Mm -hmm. 
Looking for a good shot. High post flashes for the ball handler. They worked the perimeter. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Marshall goes to the line for the first time. That's a nylon NBM. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. The kick out. Looks at the three. He hits it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. My goodness, players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. He uses the shot fake. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job, great footwork, and he really draws the charge. Gave it up, takes the pass in the paint. And the ball goes out of play. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. The defense senses a five-second call. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Cal State Northridge have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Boy, terrible execution on offense. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Top of the circle. He nails the shot. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Gave it up for two, and in and out. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. There's a double team waiting there. From three-point range, he gets the bucket. He shoots from the top of the key. 
Tickles the twine. At the half, the Bruins are trailing by six. It's been a tight one thus far, Mr. Vitale. What play do you think set the tone here tonight? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. All right, Dick. Let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half. UCLA allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. The Matadors are ahead by eight. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. He's money with the shot. Robs him of the ball. They run it up into transition. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Puts it up, looking for contact. You betcha. That's a 7-0 run. Five-second count winding down. Tries for two. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Shots there if he wants it. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. And they get the turnover. UCLA has put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. In the paint. He got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. They will line them up. Hits that one. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of play. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. Goes up for two. 
I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Steal. The ball goes out of bounds. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Hard foul. Up and inside. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot with a deep shot from outside. Sinks it. On the outside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Pressure in the basketball. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Finger roll. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. Picks off the lazy pass. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Ten on the shot clock. He wants a three. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Come with a double team to stop it. Gave it up. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. With a little baby hook. In and out. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They work it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes in. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He throws it up from downtown. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Picked off. Here they come the other way. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. There's the pick. Here's a flash from the post up high. From left of the circle, Copeland drills the three. Working it around the perimeter. On the inside. Pushing up basketball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Stolen. Transition opportunity coming up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. What a reaction. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries a three. Way off target. Balls kicked right back out. They work it around the perimeter. When you're one of the top-ranked teams, you've got to bring your best every night. Teams are always looking to knock you off. Hey, when you have a squad like this, Brad, you always have to bring your A game. Opponents will come after you with grit and boldness. For two. He kept the ball on the floor long enough to set up the screen and get the nice look from the inside. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Tries for two, makes the shot. Launches away. The Bruins have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. These fans seem to be thrilled with what's going on right now in front of them. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He gets that one to fall. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Arte just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. All right, thanks, Aaron. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Perfectly executed. Now they work it around the perimeter. 
Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. I'll tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Gave it up. On the outside. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. He gets the shot to fall. The pavilion is going absolutely crazy. They're going well here in Los Angeles, California. Jumps into the defender. Gets it to go. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Step out on that screener. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Ball moved back outside from down low. UCLA are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Here's a double team. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. For two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Looking for a good shot. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. He comes away with it. On the dribble, gives it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. They work the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Super. He really is. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They've left them completely alone. UCLA are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of play. 
as we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Leans in, and he scores despite the hack. Team now, bad angle. Steal. Again, down court in a hurry. Goes up for two. Easy one. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. of basketball he missed the guy in the post and goes the other way gave it up from downtown he drains the shot Jumps in. He has the presence of mind to set the screen in time to get off the nice inside bucket. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Stolen. Here they go into the break. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position. So he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Cross court. The pavilion has become deafening. They're going well here in Los Angeles, California. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Up and inside. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside, the ball goes out of play. the dribble gives it up looking to move it around the perimeter tan on the shot clock moving it around the perimeter can't get a shot off in time Dick. they couldn't get a shot off because they wasted too much time getting set up And Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. He drains the bucket. That's incredible. Hunt handles the pass. Gave it up. The point guard with the ball. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. At the free throw line. Opportunity. Gets it.
second. They have found their stroke at the stripe tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. We'll see if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Number two is trying to pump up the crowd. He wants the crowd up and out of their seats for the next possession. And yet another foul. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He shoots from the top of the circle. Knocks down the three. And the clock stopped with a foul. Turnovers, Dick, they just kill you every time. I'll tell you, Brad, they sure do. You must keep the number to a minimum in order to maximize your number of shot attempts. in practice. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He makes his second shot. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the pass. And he misses the shot. Dick, you look back at our final focus player update of the ballgame, and it's probably not what he was expecting tonight. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. UCLA comes away with the W in this matchup. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.